two puppies. Welcome back. Erica Meyer is with the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak Region here with a very special guest this morning. Good morning, Erica, and good morning, little guy. Good morning. Yes, this is Nash. And if your memory is really, really good, <laughs> you will have remembered Nash from way back at the beginning of 2011. Um, he was a stray in 2011, and we got him a good home okay. um, on the station. And so, um, but then we microchipped him, and he got a home, and then he got brought back into the shelter as a stray again oh, really? and the people um, we contacted the microchip company looked them up in our database and unfortunately they had moved oh. and they forgot to update their information so it's so important if you um, have a, your your pet microchipped and you've moved um, we see it a lot with military families that you know they move a lot so remember remember to call that microchip company and get that information updated so when your beautiful cat um, happens <laughs> to make it back in we can get him back home to you um, this cat's clearly had a lot of love too. he's had so much love so um, we're kind of thinking maybe the second time's a charm for Nash here Good. and um, he's a two-year-old neutered male and he's such a sweet boy he just wants to play <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to get love and um, he really is super sweet so we really hope to get him a good home this time you know for a cat he, he, he does like to, to cuddle now. a little bit yeah that's right <laughs> I see that tail starting to wag out there. Uh, so yeah, you say two years old? About two years yep, old? Yep, he's two years old. So he's really young. So he's he wants to spend the rest of his long life in in one final home. Yes, yes, and and and, and not to constantly make trips back to the Humane Society there. And that also brings to light how important it is to not only have the micro trip, but also to make sure that information stays updated. Yeah, too. you really do. Something else that's important too, and I had a friend that, that did this actually, being a foster home. Yeah, we are in need of foster homes right now. Well, we're always in need, but right now it seems like we've had a lot more medical cases. Um, we're seeing a lot more um, moms and their puppies, and because it's been um, a really warm winter, we're still seeing a lot of cats with their kittens. Um, we need foster homes for a variety of situations, but when, at the Colorado Springs Shelter, we deal with about 21,000 animals wow. a year. Oh and so when cases come in that need extra special attention and time, we just don't have those resources right at the shelter, so we heavily rely on our foster families. And um, you can foster for as short as a week um, or as long as you know you want. You can do as many or as few animals as you want. You really, um, whatever you're, you're kind of wanting to foster, we can, we can find an animal that okay. would fit right in with your home. And it um, could be cats, dogs. Or... It could be ca cats and dogs primarily okay. is, is what we need foster homes for. And I foster, and it's just really such a rewarding experience. Right now I have a chihuahua and her two tiny puppies, and it kind of helps me get my puppy fixed. Um, and and I know that I'm just saving lives. So he's watching himself in the, in the mirror right above us. He's really the cat has found a mirror that we actually have, <laughs> and, and that's what he's so attentive at. What a great cat you are! You are very entertaining. He's like, stop, stop talking about fostering. Let's that, talk about me. That's right. <laughs> well, fostering is a very good idea, and also you've got plenty of other animals there too. He is intently look. Look at that. There you go. I like it. <laughs> Um, and if you have a lot of other animals there, the Humane Society, people can always go visit at yep. Abbott Lane. Yep, we're located at 610 Abbott Lane. Or if people um, want to check out all the animals that we have available for adoption, we have about 55 cats right now, including Nash here, and um, about 30 dogs that are need a home. So they can jump on our website, hsppr.org, and check them all out. Awesome. Nash, very good job. We'll get you a play buddy here soon. <laughs> Hopefully find you a good home. Yes, thank you. All right, Erica, thanks for being with us.